Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. If you guys have a BMW such as 3 Series, 5 Series, X3, X5, Z3 and Z4 guys and uh, the car does not idle, okay, when it idles it dies, you have to constantly give it gas to go. You have engine light on, maybe you have the EML light on and maybe even traction control light, quite a few lights guys. We'll explain what causes that. Now. We'll demonstrate on this uh, E46 here, but it should work on the 3.5 series, X5, X3 and Z3, Z4 because all of them use guys the same M54 engine. Now we'll guys have more than 200 videos on every car we get at the shop because our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can. So please subscribe to the channel, like the video and leave a comment below. Let us know if the video was helpful. So let's start on it now. So this is guys the computer that we'll be using for the diagnostics today, it is uh, made by Foxwell, really good uh, computer guys, check it out, it will be listed in the description of the video below for your convenience. So let me show you what's happening now with this BMW, how it doesn't idle, it dies, okay, and we have so many lights on, okay, so, check it out now, when I start the car, it just dies. So I have to constantly keep the gas okay going so the car can run. And if I let off the gas, it dies. We have the uh, engine light on, EML light on, traction control and brake light, even while the car is running. Check it out now. Quite a few lights will stay on. So what we'll do now, we'll turn it off, turn the ignition on. Okay, we're going to plug our scanner now. So we need to, you need to find your OBD connector. Okay, we are connecting right now, guys. Uh, let me explain to you, okay, that OBD scanner guys, it works on any car, not just BMW and you can do so many things, you can read and delete codes from the engine computer, airbag computer, ABS, brake, traction control computer, you can register batteries. Okay, let me show you some of the functions, okay, so you can check it out, it's listed in the description of the video below and see where we, get, uh, we got ours from. So we click enter to uh, get into the engine computer now, uh, it could be two possibilities for that and the codes guys we will let you know uh, which way you should go so we will explain guys uh, what is wrong now it takes about 25 seconds usually to connect to the car computer and after that we will be able to pull the codes what i like about this one it has the uh, vehicle specific codes so let's say bmw we have specific codes mercedes has so it does have those integrated in it and you can even update it once in a while so we have two codes found, we click OK, we are going to enter the module and now we'll click read codes right here and after that click stored codes and it says manufacturer specific codes are found, press any key, now we need to select BMW code and the code that we have 1504 and 158, idle speed control valve opening solenoid and idle, idle speed control valve closing solenoid. So, now guys, we definitely have a problem with our idle control valve. What we will do, we will turn the ignition off now. Okay, ignition is off and we'll show you what we need to replace now. So, now guys, we'll demonstrate on E46, but almost all of them will be that way. We had to remove the air filter box. It has only two bolts right here. And once we remove it, guys, I took a few things apart to show you now. You always have to inspect that boot, like cracks like this one. Okay, it can cause some rough idle, but uh, you won't have codes like that. You may get the codes, but not immediately usually. Okay, and the whole hose is broken everywhere. Okay, you can see our hose is completely shot, guys. So that, that hose is done, even right here. So we'll need to replace that. Also, I removed the hose up, okay, and right here. I disconnected the wiring harness for the control valve to be able to show you where it is. This is the wiring harness, right there. Okay, how you do it, you push down, pull it out. And this back there, this is your idle control valve, guys. Okay. All the way back there. You have to remove the intake boot to get to it. Uh, and practically, okay, 
one bracket later for the throttle body and you can go ahead and replace it that's what we'll be doing now if you want to see where we get our replacement part check it out list it in the description of the video below also we'll go ahead and replace it now and see if that fixes the problem if you want to see the video for the replacing check it out guys it will be on the channel listed soon today's video we want to see if that will fix that problem now so we already replaced it now what i'll do okay we'll go inside okay after you replace it, it may take a while for your car to start why because your car probably flooded because the idle wasn't correct i'll turn the ignition on now okay and we're going to reconnect our scanner quick wait for it to reconnect and uh, we'll go ahead and see if we can clear the lights and if everything will perform right now okay go back click erase codes enter yes erase done so let's go ahead turn it off turn it back on okay you can see it took a while guys to start yeah the, the car is idling let me restart it one more time way faster this time our battery is getting a little bit weak too so you can see no light i'm not even keeping the revs up so everything works correctly guys so thank you for watching hopefully the video will be helpful please subscribe and see you guys next time